Hey you guys, so I'm doing a quick video about Justin Bieber's new fragrance fragrance perfume called The Key. And it's really significant because when the when you come to the creator, sometimes Yeshua will give you a key. And the key opens up the door. Yeshua, Jesus, he's actually the key, but he will give some a key to the door of the kingdom of heaven. Um, I've had visions where he's given me a key. I could even draw it out myself. And what's really disturbing is the key that is on this fragrance is really similar to the key that Yeshua gave me, which is really alarming. Um, now... Justin Bieber was chosen to release a fragrance called The Key because his fans are called the Believers. And to many Christians, they, they call other Christians Believers. And they, they're like, well, they're a believer, so they're saved. Not necessarily. If you don't really know the Creator, the Creator's Son, and the Holy Spirit, then that doesn't mean you're saved. And what makes Christians so special that they can call themselves believers, you know, and not call a Muslim a believer when some of them believe Yeshua, Jesus is the Messiah? What, what, what difference does it make? And some Jews recognize Jesus and Yeshua, the Messiah. So why... Why are Christians singled out and called the believers? I don't get it. I used to think it was true, but, but to, to the Creator, there's no religion in heaven. He does not care what religion you pro proclaim. The only thing He cares about is if you have a relationship with Him. That's it. That's all He cares about. If you know Him. If you don't know Him, then He'll turn and send you away then he won't have nothing to do with you it, once judgment comes. Now, um, I'm going to show you guys some of the subliminal messages in this video. It, it even has a wedding cake. See, there's the key right there. I mean, it's not an exact match of the key that Yeshua gave me, but it's really, really similar. I mean, the girl's holding on to her key while she's sleeping. When we go to sleep, we actually go and commune with the Creator and other people, our family, our loved ones, in our dreams. We go and visit them. Our body, you know, our spirit actually leaves our body when we go to sleep. And... He's saying, come hang out with him in the spiritual realm. It's, it's ridiculous, but that's what they're showing you. Trying to get the... Oh, shoot. Wedding cake. Because that, that wedding cake right there was just crazy. Oh, shoot. Sorry, you guys. It does not want to pause. Go to the right place. There we go. See? There's the wedding cake. This is... Ex this is significant. There is going to be a huge wedding when the Creator unites, you know, spirits together up in the heavens. He's going to have this huge, huge affair. And it's not the wedding feast that the Christians think. It's a little different than what they, they believe. Because I've been shown it. It's pretty huge. It's major. It's a big ordeal. It's even bigger than what they... It's a bigger ordeal, ordeal than a lot of the Christians think the wedding is. It is so huge. It's major. Now, align yourselves with love. Align yourselves with positive energy. 
The creator is about to get ready to give us our keys. You know, literally not just in the spiritual realm. They're showing you this subliminally now. The creator is getting ready to give us our keys. And we're getting ready to go home and be with Yeshua and be with the Holy Spirit to be with our father, to be with our mother, to be with all of them. It's going to be a huge, huge celebration. Align yourselves with love. The Creator loves you.